kuzindua madawa Dr. Mayama aweze kuzungumza kifupi Dr. Mayama I'm telling you today, in broad daylight, I will not take a month if we don't fix so that we get this place working. And I have talked to you. Mimi ni maongelesha. I have talked to them because as your governor, as your father, I'm there to guide you. Wacha tuzungumuse tufanya kazi because we cannot allow the Ministry of Health to go down the drain. Hii shida yote tunazungumuzia today, and I want to be very open, is because of the three of you. Nyinyi watatu. The three of you. And if you don't change, kama mbadiliki, mbadilishi, mimi ni tawabadilisha. Yeah. And I'm being, I'm being very honest. Mimi, hii ministry imekua the most performing ministry. Imefanya kazi nzuri sana. Nimesimama, nimesema, nimepromote watu. We have worked very well as a minister of health. This is a ministry that touches people. Ukiuliza zara mbao inashika maisha ya watu ni health. Ukiuliza the most corrupt ministry utangua ni police because police are always on the road. Ndiyo wanakutana na wanainji. My friends, you are all qualified. Kila mutu wako na kazi yake. Wewe daktari ni CEC. Ni meleta daktari ni chief officer. Daktar wata ni director. Muwache mambo ya kuleta different centers of power. Tuele wana. And I know I have a report. I have an intelligence report. Ile munafanya. Please, if you don't change, I will go against what the people wanted. Niweke watu ambao watafanya kazi. Na hata licha kwamba nilikuwa kule Israel. Unajua siku hizi kuna mtandao. Nimekua nikifuatilia mambo ya ambayo ilikuwa inaendelea. Na nikaona baba kitoka kidogo. Watoto wana kwa rusana kidogo. Iyo nikawaida lakini baba amerudi. Na unajua ukikaa kama watu wa wakoro kidogo. Then there's a problem. Lakini wakikoro unajua kuna shida. But I want to say this. Minister of Health is so important to us that we cannot compromise standards. Ukweli kwa ground mambo ni different. Na hiyo ni ukweli. Singependa tudanganye and we please the governor here that things are all right when things are bad. Hatuwezi shangilia haya magari kumi ambaye natakana itembea dispensary zetu zote then at the end of the day wanaenda kutupa mabox tatu tatu alafu anasema dawa imekuwa supplied. Mimi nataka kuambia waziri rafiki yangu chapa kazi. Implement you have pre-qualified suppliers wa madawa. Walete madawa watu wetu wapate madawa chini mashine. Finally your excellence bana governor. Tunajua as a minister of health hii allocation yenye napata ya madawa it is minimum. 80 million is not enough for Bukoma County. Kwa sababu kuna pesa ambayo wa hawa wafanya kazi walikuwa waingia wa health, waanze kazi, na watu wa service board wamelala kwa kazi. Hawaja implement kwa adika wa wafanya kazi wa kuja wa saigie kazi. Tungepeta supplementary, ikuja maramoja, hizo pesa tutaivati, iende kwa madawa, waongeze madawa kwa hatu wa Bukoma.
mambo mengine sisi hatukomo hatutaki biashara ya kupingana lakini nataka tu kuambia leo bwana gavana sisi tumekuwa watu wazuri kwa kwa sababu wewe ni wetu lakini kuanzia siku ya leo iko kiboko katika assembly inaanza kwa executive wa kasande tunataka kuomba waziri crack you are weak sisi hatutaki kwenda kwa hospitali kuanza kusort out issues ndogo ndogo et nurse anauza madawa ndani ya hospitali sisi hatutaki kusort out issues ndogo ndogo et tumeenda kwa hospitali usiku ambayo yafaa kukwena mtu anafanya kazi kwa hiyo hospitali usiku na hakuna mtu anashughulikia wagonjwa katika hiyo hospitali crack you are weak Nimeshukuru umeambia timu yako ianze kuzunguka wacha wanze kuzunguka hizi hospitali you want to see service delivery this is a legacy regime waziri kama haufanyi kazi sisi tutaomba governor atafute mtu wa kufanya kazi lakini kama unafanya kazi sisi tunasema tick uendelee kufanya kazi sasa ni vizuri leo kama tume launch hiyo ni dawa ya kufikia wananchi si dawa ya maji ya ya kuvutia watu na hii ya nini peke yake hapo kusimili ya maradio wana tatumia wiki moja na inafanya nini na inaisha na kunajua watu wengi ni wagonjwa nyumbani lakini kwa sababu hana pesa ya kwenda kwa private anakaa tu na ugonjwa wake wakati anasikia ya kwamba kuna madawa inaingia kwa dispensaries ama health centers na wanaingia huko kesho kufika tena anambiwa hatuna dawa na pewa pana tu na kuambia enda nunua wapi kwa kwa duka waje tufanya kazi mzuri after all we are serving the people of ngoma na unajua gavana wakati nimekuja kwako alafu unirefer kwa wazee alafu asiye akwambia hakufanyi sifanyi sasa unatarajia sisi tufanye nini ha kwa hivyo unajua sisi ni wanadamu sisi pia ni wanadamu na muda akikwambia sikufanyi na hapa na uwezo ya kufanya. Sasa hiyo una unatarajia tufanye nini? Eh? Kwa hivyo mambo ni magapi? Matatu. Si lazima tungoje procurement ipite iende process ndio mtuletee madawa. Hao wananchi wa Kenya na wananchi wa Bungoma tunacho hata hii tumeleta kidogo ni kwa sababu mlingoja procurement process ielekee mpaka mwisho ilipwe ndio tutetee madawa lakini kwa sababu Bungoma County iko Kenya na hii hama na gavana yuko kwa miaka mitano wafanyikazi wako wananchi wako ikiwa kweli tutajali maslahi ya wananchi hawa wa Kenya tafadhali kemu za kwenye kivu mtuletee madawa kulingana na mkataba hii pesa zingine muifuate baadaye hapo tutakuwa tumeweka maisha ya wananchi mbele